Welcome to YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In this lecture, we will study inverse power method and the learning objectives of this lecture is introduction to inverse power method and then we will solve example using the inverse power method and we will also write a MATLAB code for the inverse power method in next lecture. Okay, so uh, the lectures on uh, power method are available on my YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. This is the first lecture on the basic power method, and uh, this is the second lecture on the uh, basic power method in which uh, we solve example using the power method. Then we then we have a MATLAB code for the uh, power method, and uh, this one and this is the MATLAB code for power method with error plot. And then we have a, a new uh, uh, lecture that is the MATLAB function for the power method. Okay, so you can watch all these lectures for the power method. And in this lecture, we will study the inverse power method. Introduction to inverse power method. The smallest eigenvalue can be found using the inverse power method okay so to achieve this the inverse of the provided matrix means the given matrix that is a inverse is computed using the power approach this means we apply the power method on the inverse matrix to get the uh, smallest eigenvalue of the matrix a okay so this works because the reciprocal of uh, the eigenvalues of the matrix A are also the eigen eigenvalues of the inverse matrix. This means if lambda is the eigenvalue of the matrix A, then 1 by lambda will be the eigenvalue of the A inverse. Okay, so start from this equation we know that when we multiply the matrix uh, with the uh, vector this will give us some quantity that is a scalar quantity with again a vector okay next we have we multiply this equation from uh, both sides by left a inverse uh, which gives us when we multiply this equation from left side uh, with a inverse okay so this will give us a new equation okay so we know that uh, when we multiply the matrix with its inverse this gives us an identity matrix okay so we have this equation and uh, we can write this as a inverse and into x which is equal to 1 divided by lambda into x okay so here this lambda will be the maximum absolute value of this matrix of this vector and uh, then we this is the normalized vector we divide the vector by the maximum absolute value okay so here you can see that this is the when we multiply the matrix with matrix inverse with the vector this will give us a, a, a greatest value and the of greatest eigenvalue of the matrix a inverse and with a normalized vector okay so this indicate that 1 by lambda of the uh, this indicate that the eigenvalue 1 by lambda of the inverse matrix uh, this one and uh, x is the corresponding eigenvector to 1 by lambda okay so thus the power method can be applied for finding the largest eigenvalue of the inverse matrix and the result will be the largest value 1 by lambda which corresponds to the smallest value lambda for the matrix a 
okay this mean the largest value of this matrix will be the smallest value of the matrix a okay is called the inverse power map okay so the inverse power method can be applied in the same way as the power method in theory in previous lecture we have already studied the power map okay so starting vector x of i is multiplied by the mat matrix inverse to give a new vector x of i plus 1 okay so which is then normalized and multiplied again okay so we have an equation that we will use to find the largest eigen value of the inverse matrix okay so to compute this equation uh, obviously the inverse matrix has to be calculated before applying the method yes uh, before uh, solving uh, or the finding the largest value of the inverse matrix we have to calculate the inverse of the matrix okay so uh, because we want to find the uh, smallest eigen value of the matrix a so this mean first we have to calculate the inverse of the given matrix a and then we will find the largest eigen value of the inverse matrix that will be the smallest value of the matrix a okay so calculating the inverse of matrix is computationally insufficient and not desirable okay so uh, to avoid the need for calculating the inverse of the matrix a can be written as we can write this equation as okay so we take this inverse to the right uh, to the uh, left side and uh, then we we have a new modified equation okay so now for a given x of i the equation is solved for x of i plus one we solve this equation we solve this equation we solve this equation for x of i plus one to find the value of this one this can be best by done using the lu decomposition method okay if you don't want to calculate the inverse of the matrix then we will use this equation and uh, we find the x of i plus one by the l decomposition method okay so in this lecture we will solve this equation and uh, we will uh, find the largest value of uh, the in inverse matrix uh, by using the power method example determine the smallest eigen value of this matrix a use the inverse power method and start with the vector that is x is x of 1 which is equal to 0 0 1 transpose okay so we have a formula we know that how to calculate uh, how we will calculate the uh, largest eigen value of the uh, inverse matrix and that will be the smallest value of the matrix a okay so first we have this equation and uh, to compute this equation first we will find the inverse of the matrix a okay so this is the inverse of the matrix a and uh, now we have a iteration one for i is equal to one okay so this is our initial vector and uh, we have equation uh, when we put over here uh, i is equal to 1 this will be equal to uh, 2x2 2 2 and the inverse of the matrix with the initial vector okay so substituting all these and after multiplication we get this one and now we will take the maximum absolute value from this vector maximum absolute okay from this vector Mas maximum absolute value okay so we can see that this is the uh, 
maximum absolute value this will be positive and this will also be positive then we can see that this is the maximum value okay so then uh, we have a formula this is 1 divided by maxim maximum value okay maximum absolute value this will be the maximum value okay and uh, then we divide this vector by this value and this will be normalized okay so solving this we have minus 3.5 and this is the corresponding vector okay now we have a new normalized vector that is the uh, 0 0.50 and 1 this is our new vector x2 okay so for uh, iteration number 2 for i is equal to 2 okay now the normalized vector x2 is this one is multiplied by the inverse of the matrix okay so now we have this equation again after substituting all these values after multiplying now we again uh, see over here what is the um, what is the maximum absolute value in this vector so this will be the maximum value okay so we can we will write this as 1 divided by this value and we do then we divide this vector by this one then we have a new normalized vector is this one okay so uh, this will be equal to minus 4.5 and this is our new normalized vector x3 there will be transpose okay so iteration number 3 for i is equal to 3 now the normalized vector x3 is this one is multiplied by the inverse matrix okay so now we have for i is equal to 3 this will be x4 okay and here will be x3 okay so after again putting the inverse matrix and the new normalized vector we have okay this one and after multiplying in the uh, the matrix inverse matrix with the vector we have a new vector again here we will search uh, for the maximum absolute value maximum absolute value okay in this vector so here you can see that this is the maximum absolute value okay so now we write this as 1 divided by this this one and uh, this is the normalized vector we divide this vector by the this value and uh, this will be equal to this one and this is our new normalized vector okay so we do number of iteration until we get our desired result okay so in next lecture we will write a matlab code for the inverse power method thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math